Welcome back to A Kentucky. Now, the big story of election night in the state of Kentucky was this man, Travis Brenda, a school teacher from Rockcastle County who upset the Senate Majority Leader, Jonathan Shell. He now joins us. How are you, sir? Good. How are you? Good. Now, you are a school te math teacher, am I right yes, about sir. that? Yes, sir. At Rockcastle County. I bet you never thought you would have a situation like this. Did you ever think you were going to run for office? Originally, no. No, I, I never really had any desire to run, but it came about from a, back in August from a prayer session at, in, in church where we always have back to school prayer service and, and the seed was planted and, and kind of grew from there. When you say the seed was planted, I mean, mm -hmm. for, I, you knew what was going on with the pension. Well, was, was that what made you do it? Well, it was even before the pension issue uh, kind of came front and center. Uh, there was a specific prayer prayed over me that, that it was time for me to take a stand. And at that time, I really did not know what stand it was. But then it seems like as, as the next few weeks went along that there was just confirmation. And some thought said that I was just running because I was trying to be a political opportunist. And, but it really wasn't. I really did not have any desire to get into politics. But, but here I am. That's fascinating. So you, before the pension issue and before all that came about, you felt called for service yes, by sir. the folks in your church? The specific prayer that was prayed over me was that I was the spiritual Western. It was time to arise lest I perish, but if I perish, I perish. That was from from someone that I that I have a lot of respect for and uh, that it was, it, it was just very powerful. Yeah, um, I, I could see that it is. So then you decided to run, you decided to run for the house seat and, and not just run, to run in a primary mm -hmm. against someone of at his stature. Mm -hmm. Was that intimidating at all for you? Not really. I, as I've told others, I, I don't really put a lot of emphasis on titles like that. Uh, I've always participated in, in voting every time there's been an opportunity. But a title like floor majority leader, that, that really does not mean anything to me. It, what means something to me is, are those that we elect to do, are they listening to us? Are they uh, listening to the constituents back home and doing what the constituents asked them to do. When you started campaigning, at some point did you realize, oh, wait a minute, I could win this, and, and, and how soon? When I first filed January 17th, uh, as I told people then, first I wouldn't be doing it if I didn't feel like God had called me to it. Second, I wouldn't be doing it if I didn't think I could win because I've got other things I could have done with my time rather than spend the time that it did take. And I've met a lot of good people along the way and, and got to see some things and meet some people that I would not have otherwise got to meet. Now, I mean, I think folks should realize what, what you accomplished. You not only beat the House Majority Leader, someone who was sort of recruited into politics mm -hmm. by Mitch McConnell, someone who I think a lot of folks thought would be governor. Mm -hmm. It really is a sort of David Goliath upset. Mm -hmm. And then you win, I think you told me the New York Times calls, Time yeah. Magazine, that yeah. had to be a heady process. Yeah, I kind of thought it would have made the Lexington paper, maybe the Louisville paper. I did not expect it to go nationwide. Sunday I had an interview on CNN uh, through Skype and all that's come from this has just been mind boggling to me. It's been overwhelming, humbling, uh, and, and I know some are, are seeing it kind of as a rally cry for, for the November election and, and the other educators that are on the ballot. Now that you are elected, what, what do you plan on doing? I mean, you really are honestly kind of an inspiration to me, someone who would just go and do it and then have success. But when you get in office, how do you keep grounded like you are now when you actually are in office? Well, I think- If my, you win the general right, election. Right, right. I think my wife will do a pretty good job of, of helping me, me stay grounded, but I'm just an ordinary guy from uh, down in Garrett County. I, I'm, I'm not one to seek the spotlight and, and to try to step out and have my name known. And so a lot of this that's come from this, it, it, it has been a little overwhelming, but I think my wife will do a good job keeping me grounded. Well, I am proud of you because I say all the time that more people should get involved mm -hmm. in, in politics. It doesn't just have to be politicians. And I think it's really inspiring what you did going up against the adversity you had. And I congratulate Thank you. Thank you, sir. Good luck to you. Thank you.